We all have leftover two and a half inch strips, but what do you do when you just have a few leftover from every project? Or perhaps you have a jelly roll that's just sitting in your stash. Here are six fast and easy blocks using jelly roll strips. And stay to the end where I'll share the link to the block instruction handout. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. Hi, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. I give you tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make the quilt that you want to make. And if you like what you see, please support the channel by hitting that subscribe button. We all accumulate two and a half inch strips. We get them in our leftover binding, leftover backing fabric, unused bits of yardage, half used or new jelly rolls in your stash. These fast and easy blocks are meant to be a great way to consume your two and a half inch scrap strips. You can make them one at a time or 10 at a time, but eventually you'll have enough to make a quilt. Personally, I make a habit of making a couple of blocks with leftover fabrics every time I finish a quilt. Before you start, you'll want to review my video on how to sew straight because we're going to be sewing long strips of fabric together you'll want to set up a sewing ledge. If you don't know how to do this, see my video, Five Sewing Hacks with Masking Tape. And if you are making your own jelly roll strips, be sure to check out my video, How to Cut Straight. This is a simple block. It can finish four by four, six by six, eight by eight, and so on, as big as you want to go. This block is often called a rail fence. You just sew strips together and then chop them up into smaller blocks. You can sew them together in stacks or alternate their orientation or even sew them together on point. They can be totally random in color placement or you can be quite intentional and place your lightest value in the middle giving you this basket weave effect. Or arrange by value from dark to light and from light to dark and get this kind of effect. And I'll have all the measurements for the various sizes in the handout. For block number two, we start with a strip set similar to block one, but we are cutting it a bit wider this time, one inch larger than the finished size. Then we make a vertical cut, we flip the piece around, and we sew it back together. I like to make multiple different strip sets. I stack them, then make my vertical cut, then I swap the right strip between the sets for a more scrappy look. And you can play with the layout. I do like the look when the cut is proportional to the size, but it can also be a variety of sizes or completely random. This time we're making a straight cut on a diagonal. This time we're working with pairs of rail fence blocks. We're going to lay the blocks down on top of one another with the right sides facing up. And one block is going to have the seams pressed to the top and the other block is going to have the seams pressed to the bottom. We make a random diagonal cut. Then shift the piece on the right from the top to the bottom. Then pair them up and sew. Two things with this block. First, this is a biased edge, so be careful not to pull or stretch it as you sew. And second, you want to line up these points. Use a couple of pins if you need to, and then square it up when you're done. You can keep all the cuts the same, you can alternate directions, or choose different angles with every cut. And don't forget, you can play with layout as well for some interesting designs. The next block is from my Stash Buster number seven video. But we're going to make it a slightly different way. Take two jelly roll strips at least 39 inches wide and sew them together. Then cut that strip into three equal sections at least 13 inches wide. I often don't even measure this. I just take my strip and fold it in three and then trim the sides. Then we sew these three strips together then we cut this block in half at six and a half inches. This gives us two blocks that finish at six inches by 12 inches. I make this block a lot. I like to pair a Kona color strip 
with an orphan jelly roll strip. But I often use strips from Fat Quarters, which is the method that I use in the Stash Buster video. And I'll leave a link to that video in the notes below. This is one of my favorite blocks. This block starts very similar to the previous block, but we need strips that are slightly longer. We need ones that are at least 40 and a half inches long, and we sew them together. Then we divide it in three, and we need three strips at least 13 and a half inches wide, and we sew these together. Then we take the block and cut it into three strips, four and a half inches wide, and we flip the center piece and then sew them back together again. This will make a block that finishes 12 inches by 12 inches. And like the previous example, I often pair my leftover Kona color strips with a coordinating pattern strip, and I just collect these blocks over time. But recently, I made a whole quilt out of a jelly roll using this block. I separated the strips into lights and darks and sewed pairs together. And then I had a little bit of fun playing with the orientation. And I really did like how it turned out. Stack five or more strips. Cut two pieces eight and a half inches wide. Then cut two more pieces at four and a half inches wide. Then cut four two and a half inch squares. And lay them out like this. Take one square and put it on the bottom of the stack. In the next pile, take the top two and put it on the bottom of the stack. On the next pile, take the top three and put it on the bottom of the stack. And on the last one, take the top four and put them on the bottom of the stack. And out of the four middle squares, we are going to make a four patch. Then we sew the four and a half inch strips to the sides. Then we sew the eight and a half inch strips to the top and bottom. Just a few more things. I have made another video called Scrap Sampler Blocks that also has other uses for two and a half inch strips. And when you're making these, just embrace the wonk if they go wonky. That's okay too. Remember, you do not need to make the full quilt right away. Let these consume your stash and let them grow organically over time. And another great use for these blocks is you can sew them together and use them for quilt jackets and bags. You can download the pattern for these blocks on my website, Just Get It Done Quilts, and look under patterns. I'll share the link below and don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter so I can keep you up to date on free patterns and events. Check out my Quilt Circle interview with Kimberly Jolly of Fat Quarter Shop. She designed the Jelly Roll Jam Quilt, which is another great block for jelly roll strips. And next week, I have Angie Wilson from Gnome Angel, and you don't want to miss it, so be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell beside the subscribe button so that YouTube will notify you when I make new videos. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest at Just Get It Done Quilts, and of course my website at JustGetItDoneQuilts.com. So take care, and I'll see you next time.